Y'all know I'm spitting the truth when I be up in this room with the political or cynical. I'm speaking to you like you do. do. 3.0 underground hero with your beating heroes. They heard of me in Germany. I'm permanently embedded in this. A minimalist. I give them a twist. Was underrated. Now I don't give a shit. I'm on a path to my success. We back, we back, we back, we back, we back. Oh, you niggas thought I was finished, huh? Nigga, I ain't finished. Oh, oh, because of Trash Radio? Trash Radio? Uh, Trash Radio, where the uh, station is, they don't give a fuck. They pay niggas minimum wage because uh, punk ass uh, DJ Ski and all them niggas is trying to sell that shit for like a billion dollars. Nigga, fuck Dash Radio. All right, this is Blue with your host. Bloopshow.com, go check it out. I'm 3.0, nigga, and uh, nigga, who is you? Drew. <laughs> also known as Osama Ben Rapping, was rapping. Uh, you. DJ Word. Uh, nigga, where are you from? West Covina, California, now living in Oakland, California. Only thing I know about West Covina, California is some fine bitches and pimps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. I mean, we don't fact check, but uh, West Covina got babe. I know. I had a few. West Covina. Uh, so, uh, why you in the Bay Area, bro? Oh, uh, shit. Moved here. Wasn't able to get paid doing music down there. Moved up here. Got a job and shit. So, you was a struggle rapper? Nah. <laughs> now, listen. Niggas like you think, like, struggle rappers, like, um, it's just niggas who's not cracking this rapping. It don't mean you ain't got no bars, because struggle rappers might be having bars. Because I know some of my best friends are struggle rappers. And niggas who are really raw on the mic, but they just can't make money rapping. So you was a struggle rapper, right? In your definition, I guess so. But I I didn't, I wasn't, like, trying to make money rapping. This. Why was you trying to make money rapping? Because... Cause uh, what uh, what homeboy from the owl? I said, if you ain't in this rap man for the motherfucking cash man, tell me what's your motherfucking purpose, none can service. You know that line from uh, Machiavelli, right? So you know you weren't trying to make money rapping. What was you trying to make money doing? Shit, having a job and shit. I did, I did music for the love. I love doing it. I was surrounded by creative, creative and legendary motherfuckers in the studio recording for them and shit. So. So you saying that because. A nigga like myself make money rapping that I'm not doing it for the love? Nah, not at all. If you can make money do, while you're doing it for the love, that's that's beautiful. That's how it should be done. That's what's up. That's how y'all do it. You came, that's that part. So you came down here and you touched down on the soil in the bay and you got your grind on, right? What's the first thing you start working doing? Filming and photography. Um, I started with DJ Teray from Hieroglyphics. Um, and DJ Plattern for the 45 sessions. Those were the first two people who was just like, I hit them up, like, yo, me and my brother, we could do this work. Uh, we don't have a portfolio. Let us shoot some shit. We don't, we're not going to charge you. We'll put some. So you were working for free? Yeah, yeah. That's right. You got to put in some work for free to make it crack. So how long did you do um, free work up here in the back? Shit, for like three years. See, nigga, three years. See, don't, shit don't happen overnight, bro. You got to, like, put it in. Pay your dues, especially when you go to another town. You got you to gotta make sure you're welcome in the town first, especially the town. The town, nigga, uh, there's none other like it on earth. Because I didn't, I didn't want to be, like, a gentrifier, which is, like, going on heavy in the town. I'm, like, I want to make sure, like, people know that I understand the culture of the Bay. I've been back and forth from the Bay. With, my mom been up here since 93 and shit. And you ain't just coming, touching down, trying to steal the lingo, the swagger, nothing, and the bounce. Nah, hell no. Nah. I've been saying hella since I first came up here in 93 and shit. So I always understood, like, the bay and the culture and how humble and how beautiful the people was. It's, it's, um, there's a huge wealth in the culture in the bay, and we losing it right now. Ooh, that part. And I got hella, res- I had hella respect for the bay because... The Bay is not that far from L.A., but uh, they was never playing that red and blue shit up here. It's like, no, it's about turfs. It's about blocks and shit. We ain't, we ain't. Did Aesop just fart, nigga? What was that? God damn. Oh, you heard that? He farted again. All right, bro. So what's your position right now? Why do I keep seeing your, your ugly ass every night? I'm tour manager for Delta Funky Homo Sapien, and I guess you could say Domino from the Hieroglyphics because he's, uh, he's Dom, uh, Dell's. DJ, but he's actually the manager, and I'm just tour manager. Not just, but I'm the tour manager. I sell the merch, I'm known as the merch god. 
Much God, much God, much God, much God. Uh, well, to be fair, <laughs> when you speak on doing merch from hieroglyphics, man, nigga, the merch didn't sell itself half the time. Yeah, you got to try, like, not to sell it because there'd be so many people at the boot. Like, come on, man, get in the line real quick. Like, let me get one person at a time. People doing credit cards and all that. Grouse tried to uh, tell me he had a suggestion we should do a um, documentary on the merch game. And I was like... Well, kind of, yeah, but nigga, nah, we ain't going to teach y'all how to do it right. <laughs> you either know or you don't know. And most of you niggas don't know. So let's just keep it like that. Um, tell me, um, what's it feel like to be working with, I'm sure niggas that you used to listen to and shit and all that kind of shit. What's it feel being around that whole environment? Man, sometimes I'll fucking just cry pure joys, uh, happiness and humility, dude. Like, it's... It's truly an honor. I did grow up listening to Dell, like Mr. Bobolina, Mr. Bob Dobolina. We was bumping that in L.A. way back in the day, 93 till, like all of that. I had to come to the Bay to buy a Third Eye Vision because they didn't have it in stores in L.A. because they didn't support Bay shit at that time. Like we barely, we barely had E-40 on the radio. We had Two Short. We had the Loonies. I got five on it. Two Short from L.A.? Yeah. You know that, y'all. I mean, like he was born in, but he was raised in this world. I didn't know that. Thank you for the knowledge. That's a, it's called bloop. <laughs> That's when you tell a nigga something, it's like bloop. Poke the nigga with the knowledge. But but yeah, it's it's truly an honor, and it it humbles me every day. And I don't I don't like show it off that I work for for them. I'm just like I'm. All so you ain't got a high roll tattoo on your neck yet? No, I don't have any tattoos. But that that would be something I would get after I get the pyramids on my back. Whoa. Like that. All right, bro. Um, is there anything you want to say to the camera? Because I heard, I mean, you're talking about DJ and shit. What you got going on out here in Oakland and shit, DJ-wise? Um, I spin every first Thursday. I got my, my event. It's called Backspin. Every first Thursday at the Legionnaire. Legionnaire Saloon in Oakland, 2272 Telegraph Road. What kind of music? Um, that, that night, I could spin whatever the fuck I want. That's the kind of music I play. Mm. Um, but I, I like to play, my favorite genre to spin is like funk. 80s pop, 80s funk, you know what I mean? I toured with Domino a lot, so he put me on to all kinds of just crazy funk. Domino is a mastermind of digging, bro. Like, he's up there with DJ Shadow. I'd, I'd put him up there. Damn. That nigga's a crate digger, nigger. I mean, I mean, crate digger, it's just rhyme. And, and uh, my third Wednesdays, we do Strictly Business. Uh, we actually do it every Wednesday at the Legionnaire Saloon. All classic, good hip hop, none of that radio shit. I mean, we might play like some dope Jay-Z, Just Blaze shit, but we, we always spin Legends. I make sure to spin Legends, High Row. I spin... Oh, you know about us? Hell yeah, man. I, I got to make sure I shout y'all out too, man. I'm a huge fan of y'all. I started working for Grouch and Eli first. Damn. Like filming. You know what I mean? Like, out, like actually going on the road and filming. So, um... What's your nationality? Egyptian. American Egyptian. Oh, he's an Egypt nigga. Yep, yep. Sand nigga. Doom Coon. Get it right. A Doom Coon. <laughs> A coon doom. No, but a doom coon. Shout out to especially Lucky man. We, we no three point oh nigga. Three point oh. I mean, I'm I'm lucky to be here. <laughs> nah, I don't believe in luck, man. I'm blessed to be here. Luck is preparation, in effect. And shout out Blue TV, man. Fuck Trump. Yeah, fuck. Uh, I don't say that. I call him Drumpf. Actually, yeah. Don't ever give that motherfucker's name power. Fuck Trump. that motherfucker. Oh wait, 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 wait. And you can't be punching walls no more, bro. Get you a heavy bag. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. My mom said that, too, after. That's funny. And, uh, what's up with that Benny you got on? Lakers. We in the Bay right now, too. And people in Oakland don't really talk shit to me because they used to be Laker fans. man. Or Kings fans. Or Kings fans. Fuck them. Shout out to Game 7 2002. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they was mad last night. They was mad. They was mad at the post. I did a post of that nigga. Uh, Mike Bibby. Mike Bibby fouled Kobe. Because you don't go up to Kobe Bryant and hit that nigga in the elbow with your mouth. That's a foul. Clear foul. Clear foul. Shout out 3.0. Thank you for having me. All right, bro. Peace.